It's week 27 and you're watching Keto Rewind. I'm Jess and it's another weekly weigh-in of my keto transformation. So, but before we get started, smash that subscribe button right there. Turn on those notifications. I've got a lot of people watching, but not as many people subscribe. So turn on those notifications and you won't miss any of my videos. And the second thing, I am not a doctor. Um, this channel is about my experience losing weight using a ketogenic lifestyle and intermittent fasting and I am sharing what works for me simply on this channel. So let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so mind the noise in the background. They have been chipping away at the trees across the street from my house for like a week now. So I didn't make many videos last week because all you could hear was the wood chipper and a chainsaw. So I just gave up. I hope you can't hear. I hope it's faint enough, but I mean it's loud as heck to me, but not always, it doesn't always hit the, the microphone the same for you guys. So hopefully it's not too annoying. So second thing, it's week 27. I'm starting something new this week, um, but I'll quickly give you a recap of week 27. I've completed what, 26 weeks. Today starts week 27, but I weighed in this morning, and if you're new to my channel, I am on a journey to lose 140 pounds to rewind my health from morbidly obese to a healthy weight. Um, I started off at 309 pounds back in February 11th, 2019, and today, 27 weeks later, I've weighed in at, drumroll, <laughs> skill shot, <laughs> 236, boom, <laughs> so that's a three pound loss for this week. Overall, since I started my journey, it is 73 pounds gone forever. <laughs> so my goal weight is 169, so that means I still have, do the math real quick, it's going so fast, 67 more pounds to lose until I hit my goal weight. So in 27 weeks, um, well I guess today starts 27, it's been 26 complete weeks, um, but in 26-ish, 27 weeks, 73 pounds. Give me two thumbs up. And what have, since you've been watching me, so many have had shared your stories. Comment below, what week are you in? What month are you in? How long you've been doing it? And where are you at? I wanna hear your success stories too. Plus the more the merrier. Okay, so this week I have a quick little review of what changes I've made, but I'm also starting strength training this week. But I wanna give you a quick you know, an update of what I did for week 27. So I few, I changed up a few things. I'm just now at the point where my hair is shedding a lot more than it normally does. Um, it's been slowly increasing since I hit like 60 pounds loss and now it's to the point where I'm, I'm losing a significant amount of hair. So, which is completely normal when you go through such a hormonal change and such a lifestyle change and you know, it's normal to lose hair. So to help, I mean, I'm completely fine with me losing hair because I have a ton, but if you didn't start out with as much hair as me, that might be very concerning to you. So I personally am taking biotin and I'm also taking collagen. 
Um, both two things that you can find locally at your local health food stores, your local grocery stores, Amazon. Um, and then an extra couple of reasons. For one, definitely hair and nails. Um, that one is self-explanatory. <laughs> but the, one of the bigger reasons is skin. Um, it's great to support your skin. I'm losing 140 pounds after all. So right now in my journey, I look pretty good. <laughs> I don't really, I have a few, um, I'll give you a, a shot of the armpit. I've got a little bit of skin right here and a little bit of skin like right here that I am going to tell you about next. But that was probably my one area and then my inner thighs. It's a little problem area that I feel can be resolved. If not, no big deal. I'm just so happy to be losing this weight. But this collagen is supposed to help improve the appearance of the skin and that means when we get older, our bodies naturally decrease as we age so your collagen production goes down. So to help with that, you supplement, I guess it's considered a supplement, not sure, but you add collagen in. It's flavorless. I throw it in my coffee. Please note that if you have it in your coffee and you're fasting, it will knock you, it will not, um, it will break your fast. So you're going to want to have your collagen in your coffee after you have completed your fasting window. So I have a cup of coffee in the morning as usual and then I save my second cup for the afternoon and I'll either have it iced or another hot one and I'll throw my collagen in there. I have an awesome recipe right here for a iced latte, keto style, or a, a, a Starbucks inspired one. So that is a great recipe. So, um, and that's what I add my collagen to. I just didn't put it on there because it's not required. This is just something I'm personally doing. So again, um, I'm losing 140 pounds. I'm only 73 pounds in my journey. I've got 67 left to go. So I'm gonna try and do everything I can right now to help improve the appearance of my skin. I'm not going to be somebody who's all upset because I have excess skin, but I do want to avoid having too much. If I can help myself at all while I'm in my journey, I'm going to do it. And right now, um, surgery is risky for me, like skin removal surgery, like tummy tucks and all that. It's really risky because I have a genetic heart defect, and that's just an additional risk to do another surgery. And Long story short, it's more risky for me than the average person to have the surgery because of my heart problem. So, I'm doing all I can, you know, and I and at the end of this journey, if, you know, I just have a little excess skin, no big deal. You know, this is like so much better than being 309 pounds. I'll take the extra skin every day and I'll wear it proud. So, um, in the meantime, I'll, I'll do what I can and help myself out. So, that's adding collagen. Intermittent fasting also helps with it, and genetics, obviously. Youth, <laughs> I'm 30, I'll be 36 at the end of the month. That also helps, and then here's what I also am going to do. I'm going to incorporate some strength training or weightlifting, like a gym routine, now as, as another way. So, um, but I'll, I'll talk more on the collagen first, but um, the main thing to help reduce this, the effects of excess skin when you're using a, you know, on a weight loss journey is simply adding those four things and then you have to pretty much toss it up in there and see what happens. So, um, but fortunately so far, 73 pounds in, I am pretty tight still, um, which I'm fortunate because I figured I'd be a lot looser or a lot, you know, but I mean, I still have 67 pounds to hit my goal weight, um, which is the end, the, the high number for my BMI's normal weight. So I think my BMI should be 150 to 169 for 5 feet 8 if I remember correctly. So I'm just hopping right in there and that's why um, I picked 169. Plus that's what I weighed in high school. It was a good weight for me. So, but um, I might do an extra 5 pounds to play, play with when I get down there. But overall, you know, I, that still gives me 67 pounds left that has to come off from somewhere. So um, anyways, that's my thoughts on the, the whole skin and collagen and intermittent fasting. And if you have not tried intermittent fasting, um, click this link or hit the, um, use the links below. Dr. Jason Fung and Dr. Berg are two doctors that I follow that, um, have really been an inspiration for my personal journey. And that's, I pretty much preach what they preach. 
So um, definitely go give them the respect they are they deserve because they are amazing and they've changed my life. So which helped me change yours. So with all that being said, what's new this week? I am doing strength training and weightlifting. So I've had a membership to a gym all this time, and I've got, since I started my journey six months ago, and I've gone two times. Yeah, two times. So now I'm actually going to use my um, gym membership. So with that being said, I have done my research because I'm a researcher. I have found that if you have PCOS, which I have, polycystic ovary syndrome, and you have you know a lot of weight and you're on keto to lose, what helps? Adding strength training. So you're not going to see me on the treadmill or the elliptical, except for like a two minute warm up just to get my, foot, my blood or juices going, but I will not be doing cardio. I'm only going to go for strength training and I'm not going to try and kill myself and be a bodybuilder or something. No, no, no. I'm just going to, you know, shape up my arms, shape up my, you know, my legs, shape up my belly in a nice, beautiful way um, that makes me have a nice physique. So if I, and then when you lose the fat, you still have the skin, so you want to fill up that area with something, and I'd much rather it fill up with muscle. The more lean body mass you have, the more you get to eat. <laughs> You know, but seriously, um, the higher muscle mass that you have, you get to eat more. And that's not, I'm not talking you get to eat like cake all day. You get to just eat more protein. You get to eat more things in your diet that you maybe would not be able to um, had you not added the exercise in addition with your macros. So, and I'm going to use it for stress management. And it's just something that my kids are in school now um, for the, like, summer's over. So they're in school. And I'm like, I have time now. And I, oh. I can go to the gym. So we're going to go to the gym. I don't feel so self-conscious that people will be looking at me because when I was at 309 pounds, I remember I was on the treadmill and I just felt so uncomfortable in my own skin that I shied away from the gym. And all this time it could have been helping me, but that's a story for a different day. I've got self-confidence again. I've got self-worth. I've got goals in mind and I don't care <laughs> who looks at me. I'm going and I'm going to show up and I'm going to do strength training using the machines that they have at the gym, they're also called Nautilus I think, and free weights. And then like maybe some of their, um, you know, yoga mat things where I could do body exercises, so like planks and stuff like that. So those are my goals and additionally, I wanted to be at a side note, if you do have PCOS and you are on keto, a great way to help PCOS sy symptoms is strength training. If you, I naturally, because I have PCOS, have a very high testosterone for a girl. Um, it's normally like way in the, like the men's range. Like I have a lot of testosterone and that's part of the reason why we have PCOS. So, um, but a perk of that is I can put on muscle really fast. I can sculpt my body really fast. That's why when I was in high school, I didn't know at the time. <laughs> Um, but I, I competed in weightlifting and I did very well. I mean, I, and it's because I did have a higher testosterone naturally and that's one of the side effects of PCOS. Um, so my lean body mass, I've always been stronger than all of my female peers. I've always been um, able to put on muscle. I've been always been more athletic. And then unfortunately I let myself go and I started eating instead of being active. <laughs> but we're changing that now. But overall, what I'm trying to say is I wanted to give you a quick, like, um, just a little, just one more reason to do keto and do strength training, and you don't need to do the cardio. Walking is fine, but you don't need to kill yourself at the gym with cardio and run like a gazillion miles. My husband does do keto, and he's an avid cyclist, like 30 to 60 miles when he goes, like, he's one of those ones. <laughs> he does do keto, but he does take electrolytes and BCAAs and, um, just he has a different approach to keto which if you're interested in doing like cardio and stuff I can bring him on and he can explain um, but I'm going as I'm just going to do BCAAs and water and fast I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go fast I'm going to go work out on a fast so that you get the most or maximum health benefits when you are doing intermittent fasting and you are working out at a, in a fasted state so another thing, like to just start chipping away at what I can and share my experience with you. Now, if you want to hear more about my gym routine using strength, um, using free weights, weightlifting, strength training, whatever you call it, 
I'm gonna do this for like a month get my routine down and if you are interested I will either make a separate YouTube channel for the exercise part of this journey or I will just leave it at this one I'm not sure a lot of people are not into any of that so I may just make a whole separate channel um, and then you can follow me over there and this way the topic on keto rewind is my keto transformation using ketogenic diet and intermittent fasting and then part two will be a separate channel so I'm, I'm just curious comment below what you would like to see here or if you wouldn't mind if you wanted to see it on another channel so um, but anyways at the end of the day I'm going to the gym right now and I will give you some before and afters I totally stole one of my daughter's hair ties but I'm going to give you a quick peek of what I look like before I um, before I go to the gym today and then a month from now we'll see how I look you know but you gotta you gotta start somewhere right and today is my day one of my gym routine so as I said earlier problem area right here Ooh, sorry I got crazy hair <laughs> ignore it don't mind the hair get a big bump um, so I have right here above my arm it's a little loose right there and it's loose here um, overall I mean here's a dual wa we'll do a wave the, I want to tighten that up right there and that's going to be a lot of dip exercises at the gym and um, push-ups and like lots of these type of exercises um, that's really it for my upper body I mean let me get closer here there's a before of the, the guns <laughs> um, and there's there's this angle and then we'll do a probably be easier if I take the shirt off you can see so there's the back, and then um, I will post some other pictures of, I don't like to move my camera. Okay, so all in all, I'm headed to the gym. I will be posting updates and answering comments and questions and I will, um, after it's been about a month, I will do an update and let you know how the strength training is going. I may run in, I may have a gain next week because I'm going to be putting muscle on. So we'll see. I'm going to be basically a big experiment. So, <laughs> but overall, that's what I'm doing and, um, I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you at the next video. I'm Jess. You're watching Keto Rewind. Bye-bye.